the skunk that sprays and fucks up your neighborhood. You probably poured the skunk. <laughs> <laughs> poured it in your class first. It's like if I ate grass, you get it in your mouth. So surrounding you, yeah. you almost feel like you can taste it. I've not heard the word procella. It might be Latin for rotten. You got lost in between? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse it's making me. you sneeze Bless now. Me. Yeah, wow. I'm allergic to rotten trash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting chills. Yeah, look at I that. I really am. Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumbo Mud. Mud. We're here. For Dark Beer. And straight from Carlsbad, California. Oh, yeah. From Virgin Beer Company. Virgin. Virgin. We have Procella. Procella. Procella, not Priscilla. <laughs> not Priscilla Presley. Procella. Procella, yeah. And this is a 10% ABV Imperial Pure Stout. Yeah, yeah. Virgin, I've been there many, many times. Yeah. Yeah, living in Encinitas, uh, Carlsbad's right there, and they're kind of known for their hazy IPAs. So they that that's really they've taken off. Um, they're three years. I think they just had their anniversary for three years. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, three friends from La Costa Canyon High School there in Carlsbad. Ah, LCC. Uh, yeah. Uh, went off to college uh, I know Anthony there brewed I think at Stone and a couple other places and mm -hmm. then they came together and, and created Virgin which that part of Carlsbad which is right across from Palomar Airport literally the road right apart across from Palomar Airport mm -hmm. there's no there's no really breweries around there except Pizza Port and Rusty Ranch so that area is an industrial area where there's a lot of uh, companies and things like that and the place is always packed like I it's a, it's a perfect location i know they're expanding mm -hmm. now um for a venue for events and things like that yeah. but um they make a great uh beer called dutchman's pipe that i really like um and they don't come out with a lot of dark so to see this i was excited to get mm -hmm. it because they're known for the hazy ipas they collaborate with everyone around san diego mm -hmm. they, they collaborate with everyone around the country so um really great brewery love those guys i've met met them met their wives met everyone they everyone there is great mm -hmm. so is this the place that you go and when you walk in they know what you want and they start uh, <laughs> is this it yeah they know i, I know like, i know there's several yeah they know i like dutchman's pipe mm -hmm. i i walk in they Poor me Dutchman's Pipe. Yeah. Because that's one of my favorite beers and uh, they always have it. And like I said, they don't have a lot of dark beers. Mm -hmm. They'll have 15 beers, 18 beers on draft and 90, 80% of them will be IPAs because mm -hmm. they're just known for their hazy IPAs. But Dutchman's Pipe I really like. And then Priscilla came out and it sounded so good that I just had to grab one and uh, review it for you guys. So okay yeah so this is if you if you're not seeing this anywhere the reason yes. is it was a limited release which jason was kind enough to get for yeah. us so just released on december 20th 2019 right before so, christmas and we're beginning of february we've got a newborn here <laughs> we gotta treat her with yeah. loving hands not even two months care. old right yeah. so uh, this is a collaboration with Port Brewing, which we are Ugh. huge fans of. Love Port. Yeah. So this was only available in the tasting room. You couldn't you couldn't buy yes. this outside of the yeah, Virgin the, Tasting Room exactly. in Carlsbad. So yeah. I feel super lucky to have this and to try it. Yeah. And uh, uh, there were no online pre-sales or anything. Again, you had yeah. to show up in person and. Yeah and get it yeah unless you're there and i follow them on instagram that's mm -hmm. how i found out about it on instagram so unless you're on instagram and you follow them or you go in there all the time you wouldn't know about it mm -hmm. so yeah but to collaborate with port which is one of our favorite breweries ever you know i had that's why i had to grab it like yeah. oh my god sure. and so uh the owners there matthew anthony and derek uh they're they're in there all the time i've met them i i've ran into derek and aaron his wife at pizza port Oh, yeah. Yeah, having beers and pizza and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're just great. Everyone there is so nice. And they've done just an amazing job of uh, of the, the whole facility there. And I'm glad to see them expanding because mm -hmm. everyone there is so nice. And it's just a great brewery. They grew great beer. Yeah. I've gone in there and watched surfing events. 
they'll they'll put on the the the, the, the surfing mm -hmm. world surfing league and things like that, which a lot of breweries don't. Mm -hmm. So so it's a great place there in Carlsbad, and like I said, there's just Pizza Port um, right there in that area, and there's not much else. So yeah, it's it's a great spot. So. Sounds great. Yeah. So you ready to try it? Ready. I know. Me too. I can't wait. Port Brewing. We love Port Brewing. And mm -hmm. um, like I said, Dutchman's Pipe um, by Burgeon, I really like a lot. So when we heard that they were collaborating together, um, we had to try it. So, yes. yeah. So let's give this Priscilla a try. Limited edition. Like Limited edition. Yeah. Super excited about that. Yeah. And 10%, which we love. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I don't know if we mentioned that. So it's a yeah. 10% uh, Imperial Stout. Yes. It's got that dark head I Ooh. like. That usually means flavorful. Yeah, and everything we've had from Port, we just love. Mm -hmm. So yeah. for them to collaborate with Virgin. Um, oh, this looks. Look at that. It looks fresh, which it is. <laughs> Again, we've got. Just brewed. It's two months old. Yeah. Yeah, crazy creamy. No. The head Ooh. looks so creamy. Look at that. <laughs> I'm getting chills. Yeah, look so at I that. I really am. Yeah. Bad. It, not only is it creamy, it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. The head doesn't move. Uh, a variation of bubbles, but just, man, just Beautiful. thick. Thick and creamy, which for a 10% beer, oh, wow. you know, it almost looks like a 11 or 12. Man, that looks so right it looks super thick and creamy so for appearance what do you give appearance let's move quick so i can get to the <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm giving it a five yeah um it, it looks actually uh more than a 10 percent. it does yeah it it looks more like almost like in the 12 range to yeah. me yeah so i'm giving it a 5.0 yeah i have to give it a five too i mean looking at the lacing mm -hmm. where the head started the lacing hasn't moved, yeah. even though the head dissipated a little bit yeah. from a one finger head down to about half a finger. Yeah, which is natural. Which though. is natural. Normal. The head hasn't, the yep. lacing hasn't moved. So the mountain peaks, they're still up there. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, it just looks amazing. So yeah, I gave it a five. It, it, okay. looks, it looks so creamy and thick when I poured it. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, give me the aroma. I mean, God, for them mm. for them to collaborate with Port, which is one of my favorite breweries. Like, interesting. What are you getting? Um, oh, my lacing's not moving. This is interesting. I don't know. What is it? Creamy. Sweet sweetness for sure, okay. but uh, misplaced sweetness. So you don't know. You're. I got. You always know. I know. <laughs> I got a slight, a slight bit of skunkiness. Skunkiness. Yeah. Hmm. Skunk. Like what kind of skunk? Like the skunk that sprays and You're kidding. funks up your neighborhood. And I said funk. No. Uh, like it was super slight. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting much sweetness. I'm not getting much yeah. aroma. Yeah, I, I, I get I, I get a sweet skunk. Yeah. Anything you can put your finger on, your no. nose on? No, and it's, no, there's nothing. It's mm. just very faint. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little sweetness, but not much. Not much at all. Just. It's yeah. It's. I'm not getting the skunkiness though. Well, you probably poured the skunk. <laughs> <laughs> poured in your class first. Yeah. Oh god. No, I'm not getting much for aroma. Okay, well. Not getting much for aroma. Yeah. So what do you give aroma? Uh, I'm gonna go with 3.5 on the aroma. Really? With skunkiness? Yeah. 3.5. Well, I mean, it's a it's a slight skunkiness. It's not overwhelming or yeah. dominating yeah i don't get any skunkiness but i'm going to give it a three because i'm not getting much aroma at all right i'm not getting bad but i'm not getting good i'm just mm -hmm. not getting much it's yeah. just like it doesn't smell bad but it doesn't it doesn't smell like anything yeah which is crazy I like know. it really doesn't smell like anything to me which i want some aroma it is i can i get nothing i can't pinpoint it either almost just a tiny tiny bit of sweetness mm -hmm. but that's all i'm getting so i have to go middle of the road there because i'm not getting much so okay um yeah so here taste yeah i'm dying to taste yeah what's in here yeah yeah the aroma it's it's amazing i don't get much hmm so and the taste is a lot like this the aroma really you're not yeah. getting much bitter oh no yeah i don't like bitter wait i don't want bitter <laughs> yeah all right this what else is, you getting this is weird it's almost like um 
almost like a, a a banana peel, like a bitter banana peel. Like I know you're not supposed to eat the peel of the banana, right. but like if you know you're chopping it coarsely, or you know you get that weird part in between the skin and the banana that you're mm -hmm. not supposed to get, like it's something funky. Yeah, I agree. The carbonation's over the top. What's going on? With My this? carbonation's over the top. It's too carbonated. It's crazy carbonated. You and had this on draft though, right? Or no? You didn't have this. I think I did have this on draft um, back when they first released it. And it didn't taste like this at all. Hmm. It tasted completely different. The carbonation is still fizzing in my mouth. Like crazy carbonation. Too. Yeah, it is mine too. Um, I'm with you. It's it's not banana, but it is banana. It's something like a rotten banana. Mm-hmm. Right? It's, it's the smell of a rotten banana. Well, even the taste. With the, the taste, though. It's like, got a different taste to it. You know, sometimes you smell like... I, I've, also, I've obviously never eaten suntan lotion, but I've had beers where I'm like, I taste suntan lotion because the aroma almost takes over your taste buds. Yeah. It's not banana, but it's something, right? Because banana has that certain flavor to it. Mm -hmm. This isn't it, but it's definitely very bitter. The carbonation is way too much, way too much. And it's got like a sour, bitter taste to it, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Wow. Yeah. So what do, you give, what do you give the taste? It's like having an identity crisis. Yeah, you kind of you know? don't know what's going on. Oh. What do you give it? Um, it's interesting. Yeah, I'm not a fan. No, it's... Um, I'm going to go 2.5 on the taste. Mm. It's just so... Yeah, it's so weird. It is. Yeah, I have to give it a 2. It's, it's, it's not leaving a great taste in my mouth. The carbonation is way too much. Um, 30 seconds after drinking it, the carbonation is still bubbling in my mouth. And it's got, like you said, when a banana goes bad, it's not that taste, but it's that smell or something, right? Yeah. It's like a sour fruit. It's the smell that if you if you were to eat a, ba a banana it's gone in bad. that condition right. or at that stage, that's likely what it tastes like. Of course, we're not doing that, but nobody's doing that. It's really interesting because I had this when it first came out on draft there. They hadn't released it in the bottles. They had it on draft, and it was good. And this tastes completely different. How many beers in were you? No, I maybe had two of those, and I hadn't had any beer before yeah. then. So I was around that area, and I just stopped in because I remember getting this on Instagram, seeing it, and so mm -hmm. I wanted to try it, and they had it on draft. But the tape, the, the bottle is different. It's well, completely I, different because I don't like bitter and this is I know. so bitter. Well, I think that's probably always the case. I would think that draft so is always going to dominate versus bottled or canning or. You would think, but we've had so many beers that we've had cans that are just amazing. Yeah. So what do you give? I'm. Yeah, so I went 2.5 on taste. taste you went I got two. two. So what do you think about uh, texture? Uh, it's a 10. Yeah, texture's okay. I it's mean, not a 10. I don't think it's a 10. It's a little lighter, but... I think it's lighter, yeah. It's not It's not far off for me on texture. Um, yeah. It's off for me. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 3.5 okay. on, on texture. Like, it's... It's not terribly off. Okay. I mean, it, it obviously could be more, but yeah, it's not. It's not. You know, it's kind of middle of the road. I gotta give Slightly it a three. Above. This tastes like a seven, maybe to me. Mm. Mm. One of my favorite beers is an eight, and it's it tastes uh, more more body and texture than this. Another one of my favorite beers is a six point five, and it tastes like it has more texture than this. This is a ten. It doesn't taste like a ten to me at all and maybe it's the carbonation the carbonation is way too much for me now maybe when they bottled it they added too much carbonation to it all right but the carbonation is over the top for me like still in my mouth i'm talking and your phone my, sal my saliva <laughs> yeah the saliva is just fizzing like it's it won't 
it won't go away, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Like the look, the lacing's great, the appearance is great, mm -hmm. but it has this kind of funky sour fruit taste, and and uh, the carbonation is just way way too much. So yeah, I gave the texture a three. Like it's okay. it's it's kind of middle of the road for me. And uh, what about finish? So onto the finish, um, in addition to the skunkiness that I mentioned <laughs> initially, yeah. now I'm almost getting like, a, like, I feel so weird saying some of these things. I feel like I'm getting like grass, like if I ate grass or like the skunk sprayed in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting like I know what you're saying it, it, do you know what? again it's it's when somebody cuts grass and the smell is so surrounding you yeah. you almost feel like you can taste it yeah that's uh, the same thing with the skunk it's it's so much around you and surrounding your senses you get it in your mouth so I'm getting skunkiness and grassiness and it's, it's it's more like a rotten fruit to me like you said you yeah. were rather you were on with the banana no I, yeah but I it doesn't that have that banana flavor but it's like a rotten fruit yeah and that's where i think the skunkiness comes from mm -hmm. it's like a rotten fruit that's been sitting there yeah. and it has that shirt yeah yeah so so whatever they did to bottle it i'm not sure mm. because i had the draft and it was good and it wasn't nothing like this so yeah i'm with you so what do you give the finish um I'm going to stick with uh, what I did for taste, a 2.5. Wow. I just can't. Yeah. I, and that might be generous. I can't imagine. I can't imagine this being anyone's beer. You know, like, oh, this, I can't see yeah. this suiting anybody or yeah. their their taste their or their preferences. Yeah. I, I, I'm on a one. I can't even go above one. It's leaving a nasty taste in my mouth. It's leaving mm -hmm. this rotten fruit taste and the carbonation is enhancing it because <laughs> it won't go away. Like it's not going away. No. It's not like that dry finish that we liked where it's, it's dissipated and it's gone and it's fine. It's leaving this lingering rotten fruit taste in my mouth, which isn't great, which I'm surprised. No, I'm, I'm really surprised because I love port and I love virgin. I know. I yeah. know you. Yeah. Uh, I we both love port virgin. I'm not familiar with, yeah. but I know you're a yeah. huge fan. Mm -hmm. So, and you've had this before. Yeah, and I had this, it one time. This beer has been stored Ooh. properly. It's just uh, again we said just yeah. months old. Yeah, it's a baby. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but something's going on. So infancy stages here. <laughs> uh, 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 growing pains, right? Well, yeah. Maybe. But it's port, too. So, so Janet, what do you give Procella? What's your total? Uh, my total for Procella is a 3.3 .3 out of 5. Above um, average. Generously above yeah. average. Um, yeah. Not my beer at all. This is my... I am a huge, huge port, port. brewing fan. This is my first... Uh, virgin it, again it's a collab but my yeah. first um virgin experience and um i'm not loving this beer at all like um i've not heard the word procella it might be latin for rotten <laughs> because this beer tastes like all sorts of rotten bad things and yeah um it makes my eyes water yeah I gave it a 2.8 uh, mm -hmm. below average. Um, when this first came out, I had it on draft and I thought it was actually good. Um, I don't know if it's the bottling process. Um, it's, it's fairly new, it's less than two months old. So I don't know what happened from the draft to the bottle, but I'm with you. It has a rotten fruit, lingering, mm. over carbonated taste that I'm really surprised because I know how great port is and the beers I have had from Virgin, I really like. Mm -hmm. So I almost think it's in the bottling process or something where something's off. 
Maybe bottling's not their thing. Maybe I, I, don't, I know don't know because I don't yeah. I, I don't know virgin. So maybe yes. maybe canning is different than bottling. Right. And you know, it, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know I, either. I don't have an explanation, but you've had yeah. it yes. on draft. You've had other beers from Virgin. Yeah, and so. always good. Always good. And that's something that I think we'll continue to learn about and we'll bring you guys is that um, the bottling process or the canning process, what actually happens to the beer, how can it go wrong or, mm -hmm. or, or stay consistent mm -hmm. with the draft as you brew? Because we have gotten cans and bottles where it's off. Yeah. And and we, we had it on draft and it was completely different than, mm -hmm. than the can or bottle. And this is, I think for me, you didn't have the draft, but I did. And it's completely different. Like I would, I would, yeah, I would never order this beer again. So anyway, Gumbo Mud Review is a 3.05. So right there at average. Mm -hmm. um, I'm surprised it's that much because it's just not a good beer. As far as the bottle is concerned, it's this bottle is it's missing a lot of things and uh, it's got this super bitter taste and maybe that's what they're going for. Like I said, Virgin is very well known for their hazy IPAs. And if you're a, an IPA drinker, you like hoppy. This is a bitter. It doesn't really taste hoppy, but it tastes very bitter and kind yeah. of like you said, kind of rotten, like a rotten fruit, yeah. bitter taste, which you know, when I have had IPAs, they're super bitter, Damn. but they're also hoppy. Yeah, I've never yeah. in my life had an IPA. So well, I you've, you've tried little tasters of them. Oh, I don't know. I go yeah. places and these <laughs> creepers are like, here, try this. Yeah, I don't, sour. But I don't know. I don't know what they are. Yeah, I know we've been a couple of places. And you have tried an IPA, and you're like me. You're not a fan of the hoppiness. It's no. very hoppy and sour and mm -hmm. um, has a certain taste. So, so this kind of feels like it's got, it got mixed in <laughs> with some IPAs or some, but it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's an offer for what we like in a stout, mm -hmm. especially an Imperial stout at 10%. So gumbo mud review, gumbo mud review, gumbo mud review is at 3.05. So um, if you're around Carlsbad, Definitely look up Virgin, go buy Virgin, um, try it on draft. Um, I have had this beer on draft and it was really good. So um, I don't know where it got lost in between. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse it's making me. you sneeze Bless now. Me. Yeah, wow. I'm allergic to rotten trash. Yeah. Imagine that. Procella is. Procella. Uh, yeah, exactly. So. I'm allergic to Procella. Yeah. So if you guys have tried this beer or even had the draft or anything, uh, write comments below let us know what you think <laughs> and uh i love the guys at virgin i've been there many times and also port Marine was probably one of our favorite mm -hmm. breweries of all time so um this this bottle that we have is just off so hopefully they can fix it yes and future beers will not be as off as the draft that i had so anyway mm -hmm. thank you guys for watching yes always thank you so much yes you can find us on our Instagram page. It's Gumbo Mud, M U D D. -D. Yes, and click the like share button uh, to, to share with your friends and uh, get more beer reviews and subscribe um, for more dark beer reviews, um, especially anything dark, everything dark. Um, all dark, all the time. All the time, whether we try it at the brewery on draft and then buy the bottles and bring you the bottles, we want to give you guys all the information um, so you don't have to go out and buy a bottle that's not as good as the draft mm -hmm. or, or vice versa or whatever. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you. We'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.